Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Lithography machines play a core role in chip production, their importance reflected in multiple dimensions, including technology, economy, industrial ecology, and strategic security. As the heart of chip manufacturing, their performance directly determines the chip's process node, integration level, performance, and power consumption, thereby impacting the competitiveness of the entire semiconductor industry chain. The Netherlands has a monopoly on the production of extreme ultraviolet EUV, lithography machines and holds an absolute dominant position in the high-end deep ultraviolet DUV market. Dutch company ASML is the only company in the world capable of mass-producing EUV lithography machines. Its technology, discovered in the United States and refined in Europe, was achieved through the integration of a global supply chain, e.g., optical systems from Zeiss in Germany and laser sources from Cyma in the United States. EUV lithography machines are core equipment for manufacturing advanced chips of 7 nanometers and below, with a price tag of $200 million to $400 million per unit. ASML has sold approximately 140 EUV lithography machines, securing a 100% market share. The U.S. blockade of China's advanced chip production stems from China's backward chip production technology, which is driven by a lack of domestically produced advanced lithography machines. After the U.S. banned Dutch lithography machine exports to China, domestic lithography machine development has been catching up, with significant progress achieved this year, but the gap with Western manufacturers remains significant. For 90 nanometers and 28 nanometers lithography machines, domestically produced mature processes have achieved independent control this year. Shanghai Microelectronics, SMEE, SSSA 620 series 90 nanometers lithography machines have entered mass production, capturing 80% of the domestic market share and exceeding 50 units in annual shipments. They are used in the production of mature process chips at companies such as SMIC and Huahong Semiconductor. The 28 nanometers immersion DUV lithography machine has been verified by SMIC. It utilizes a dual worktable from Huashua Precision, 1.5 nanometers positioning accuracy, and a precision projection lens from Guica, NA equals 0.93. The localization rate has exceeded 70%, and mass production verification is expected to be completed in 2025. This process can cover markets such as automotive chips, power devices, and industrial microcontrollers, meeting 70% of global chip demand. The National Integrated Circuit Industry Investment Fund, NISI, Phase 3 has invested 50 billion yuan, focusing on supporting bottlenecks, such as light sources, objective lenses, and photoresists, with the goal of having 14 nanometers DUV lithography machines integrated into SMIC's production lines by 2025. Shanghai Microelectronics, Huawei, and SMIC have jointly established the Lithography Technology Innovation Consortium, aiming to achieve 100% domestic production of 28 nanometers lithography machines by 2025. However, ASML still holds a monopoly on the EUV market, 98% share. Its latest high NA EUV lithography machine supports 2 nanometers processes and costs 180 million euros per unit. Domestically produced 28 nanometers DUV lithography machines lag behind ASML by approximately four generations, with the localization rate of core components less than 70%. Amidst the increasingly severe U.S. and Western high-tech blockade against China, every advancement in China's lithography equipment sector is worth celebrating. On August 14, official media in Hangzhou, a major Chinese technology hub, announced the launch of China's first domestically produced commercial electron beam lithography machine, the Shiji, in the city. This machine is expected to break through Western export controls and boasts precision comparable to mainstream international equipment, marking the beginning of a Chinese tool for quantum chip development. 
A Thursday report in the Hangzhou Daily, the official newspaper of the Hangzhou Municipal Committee of the Communist Party of China, quoted an unnamed team leader from the Zhejiang University, Yuhang Institute of Quantum Research, as saying that the institute's independently developed, next-generation, 100 kV electron beam lithography machine, the Shiji, has officially launched on the market. The report states that the Shiji lithography machine, named after the calligrapher Wang Shiji, specializes in the core development of quantum chips and new semiconductors. It uses high-energy electron beams to handwrite circuits on silicon substrates with a precision of 0.6 nanometers and a line width of 8 nanometers. This allows for flexible design modifications without the need for masks, much like using a nanoscale brush to precisely paint on a chip, making it ideal for repeated debugging in the early stages of chip development. According to reports, this type of equipment was previously subject to Western export controls, preventing top Chinese research institutions such as the University of Science and Technology of China and the Zhejiang Laboratory from purchasing it for a long time. The launch of the Shiji system is expected to overcome this dilemma. Furthermore, the Shiji system is priced below the international average, and discussions have already begun with numerous companies and research institutions. The official Hangzhou Metropolis Express stated, the successful application and testing of the Shiji electron beam lithography system is a major breakthrough in the localization of core high-end semiconductor equipment in China. This independently controllable Chinese lithography tool will provide a solid equipment foundation for accelerating the development of domestic high-end chips and seizing the commanding heights of future technology. Compared to the extreme ultraviolet lithography, EUV, systems developed by the Dutch company ASML, China's electron beam lithography, EBL, systems differ significantly in terms of technical principles, resolution, production efficiency, cost, and application areas. EUV lithography systems currently enable process technologies of 5 nanometers and below, making them core equipment for manufacturing advanced chips, e.g., 7 nanometers, 5 nanometers, and 3 nanometers nodes. The theoretical limit of electron beam lithography is 0.6 nanometers, and in practice, it can stably achieve line widths below 2 nanometers. The electron beam's extremely short wavelength and weak diffraction effects allow for the fabrication of finer micro and nanostructures. Extreme ultraviolet lithography is suitable for large-scale mass production, processing dozens of wafers per hour. Electron beam lithography, on the other hand, typically processes fewer than 10 wafers per hour, making it difficult to meet mass production requirements. However, it can be used for prototyping chips with a process size of 2 nanometers and below, as well as for constructing circuit patterns for quantum chips. In short, extreme ultraviolet lithography, EUV, is the workhorse of chip mass production, supporting large-scale chip production with high efficiency and high integration. Electron beam lithography, EBL, is a powerful tool for R&D and small batch production driving cutting-edge technological breakthroughs with its ultra-high resolution and flexibility. The two are complementary, not substitutes, and may be combined in the future. For example, using EBL to create high-precision masks, followed by EUV for mass production, could create a collaborative R&D mass production ecosystem. From this perspective, the successful application testing of the Shiji electron beam lithography system is truly significant. Over the next few years, China's semiconductor industry will advance from 14 nanometers to 7 nanometers. The Harbin Institute of Technology team will continue to iterate and expand production lines, integrating the achievements of Tsinghua University and Beihang University to form a comprehensive force. It is expected that by 2026, the goal of self-reliance will be initially achieved, and the chip war will no longer be passive. This also tells us that the US and Western technological blockade against China will eventually be shattered and collapsed.